Hey there everybody, James here, and we are back with another watch review. So, you know, it's January, it's 20, 2024, and uh, made some moves in the collection last year uh, to get a piece that I was really, really excited about. Um, and so even though I've had a couple of Omegas in the past, you can see those reviews also on the channel. Um, you know, I ended up making some trades, doing some things there. So now I think we've got what's going to be the permanent addition to the collection. So here we are with the Omega Seamaster Aquaterra 41 millimeters uh, in blue on the rubber strap. And, uh, you know, we'll talk a little bit more about the strap because it is a nice piece. So this is the 2017 uh, model year, which I believe is still the most recent. Um, and a couple of changes to call out from the prior model year that they were making. And one is the date window being down here at six o'clock. On the prior model year, it was over here at three. And then the other one is the teak deck pattern. So this little you know, these striations on the actual dial itself, um, again, made to look like the deck of a ship or the wood of a, you know, a yacht. Um, in this case, they are horizontal stripes, and then the prior version of it, they were vertical. So just a couple little minor changes there um, on the newest version. So again, case size is 41 millimeters. We've got a thickness of 13 and a half, um, which is you know, it's pretty wearable. It's it's a little bit thick, but still very wearable. 20 millimeters spacing between the lugs, and then the lug-to-lug -lug dimension of 47.5 millimeters. So, um, yeah, you know, you can still wear this one if you have a little bit of a smaller wrist. Um, I personally have, you know, I've had a 38 millimeter version similar to this. I've worn a Date 8 version that was a little bit bigger. It was a 42 and a half, I believe. Um, you know, and I think this one is probably going to fit me really, really well uh, with about a six inch circumference wrist. So movement, if we're turning it over, looking at the back is the coaxial 8900, which is, you know, the um, upgraded movements got a 60 hour power reserve. Uh, the balance is beaten away up here at the coaxial speed of 25. 200, so 25,200 vibrations per hour. Um, and again, that's specific to the coaxial movements that Omega makes. Uh, it's 150 meters water resistant. And uh, again, this is made to be your very versatile piece. So you can wear it on the land, wear it in the water. It is a Seamaster after all. So um, let's take a look at it on the wrist here. So I'll give you a quick shot of what that looks like. Now, again, this piece right now, the strap on it, I'm holding because I already know, having, again, worn, um, you know, Omega's prior, I know that the strap is going to be too big for my wrist. So even the smallest hole here does not really work for me. So I'll see if I can get kind of more of a straight on shot. But you can see, you know, the lugs extend right out towards the edge of my wrist. They're not quite over it, uh, but they're pretty close. They're pretty darn close. So this is about as big as I probably would want to go um, with this watch. So, But again, you know, very, very supple feeling to this strap. Um, and it's got this nice little wave on the underside here to help it not only adhere to your wrist, but also create some breathability. <clears throat> and then the other thing that's really nice on these pieces is the clasp. So it's got a dual deployment clasp. And um, the unique thing about these is it eliminates the need for the minder loops that you see on most watches. So um, what you do with this one is you slot this in here and then you put the little pin through one of the holes. But then when you close it, as you can see here, the strap actually folds underneath. So it just keeps that real nice clean look uh, because you don't have any of the loops to hold the strap because it's underneath instead of on top. So really like that about these Omega style uh, deployment clasps. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about the dial. So again, we've got this teak deck pattern um, made to mimic the wood of a ship or a yacht or a boat. Um, you know, so kind of like an uneven pattern. Um, that's really nice. It's a nice little touch to it. Um, the you know the color on these watches is really interesting because obviously it is blue, um, but depending on the lighting, you know you get you know kind of here where it's a little bit more navy. And then if you're looking straight on, it's almost got like a silvery blue to it. Uh, you know, whereas some dials you'll see, it's like a true one color blue and that's it. Um, some nice little cyan accents on the quarter of an hour indices, you know, so the 60 and the 30, 15, 45. And then the Seamaster also in that nice little cyan color. It's also on the seconds hand, which is kind of cool. So it gives you a nice way to, your eye just kind of 
goes to that when it's moving. Um, and it's also loomed, so you can see the seconds hand moving in the dark as well, which is kind of nice. Uh, really great loom on these dials, honestly. I mean, I've always liked that about, about Omega. Um, so all of your hour indices have, you know, rhodium plated, um, polished indices, and then they've got that loom in the middle. So no shortage of loom on this. You can also see that the hour hand and the minutes hand are made a little bit differently. So again, easy to see at quick glance, um, whether you know during the day or at night when you need the loom. Um, and then the date down here at the bottom. So <clears throat> um, really a couple of setting modes for this watch. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, but that's really it. You know, So again, you can see the case back here is really, really lovely. It's got the full balance bridge up top, really great spring, uh, you know, shock resistance, shock protection, uh, and that's part of the Matos certification that Omega's movements go through. Um, and again, that is something that they developed. Uh, that's really, really um, an intensive testing, you know, so it's a six position adjusted test, uh, and they do it when the, with the movement inside the watch. So that allows them to test for things like, you know, water resistance, magnetism, power reserve, shock resistance, all those things, um, which makes this a very versatile piece here. Um, so yeah, you can see 150 meters there. Uh, and then stainless steel, got the serial number on the left. And then this, I believe, is their little symbol for the um, anti-magnetism. So these watches are very, very anti-magnetic. So no worries there. Um, you know, you get this nice Cote de Genève here uh, that's kind of in a radial pattern. Uh, just really looks really looks lovely, you know, and, and they continue to make these on their watches. So very good looking piece. Two barrels for that 60 hour power reserve. Um, so that's pretty much it with this watch. I mean, it's a fantastic piece, very versatile. Again, I'll pop it on the wrist, even though it will be a little bit big for me. So I'm not going to close it all the way, but... Just to give you a sense of the fit, you know, if you're looking for just an all-around piece, this is a great one. You know, it's a really, really good one. And, um, you know, they make some different colors of it. You know, you got the Omega Golf, <clears throat> Golf Edition in black. They've got a white version of this. So that is one of the things that I do appreciate about Omega is just the versatility. And um, definitely one of the, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the brands that I wanted to have back in the collection. So that's why this is one of the first ones to... Uh, come in this year. As far as the setting goes, just a quick note there. If I can, oh, I screwed this down really tight last time. Sorry here. There we go. <clears throat> okay. So when I unscrew the crown, first position is just to wind it. And it's got a very tactile feel here, which is always noticeable on Omegas. Um, when I pull out to the first position, I do have the ability to move my hours independently and I can drive the date forward and backward which is nice so for setting purposes you know you can put the the uh, date to the day before today and then <clears throat> now I know it's morning and it is oh what is it it's right after nine yep there we go so you've got that in there to set the hours and the date and then when I pull it all the way out then you initiate the hacking seconds you can see the seconds hand stops, and then I can set everything in sync here. So, but that is it. So set, we screw the crown back in, movement starts back up, and uh, like I say, you've got yourself a real nice versatile piece here that uh, is all around a great watch and very, very uh, reasonable pricing on these. So you can usually find some deals on them pre-owned, even brand new. I think they retail for about six grand or so, um, but just an overall beautiful Omega. So hope that you've enjoyed and uh, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment below. And I hope that you are getting out of watches, whatever you want to get out of watches. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.